Honey ho friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Melt It Michelle. I am Michelle and today we are talking July wax empties. And as you can see, we have quite the stack in front of us. It is um, mostly scentsy as usual with some candles, some pods, um, travel twists up there. Anyway, let's start in the front with Scentsy because why? Scentsy is my favorite. I love it. Okay, first currently available is the Disney Oh Boy scent. This is in the catalog and will continue in the fall winter catalog that starts in September. It is kind of a fruit punch type scent with a little bit of extra citrus in there from I think Clementine is the note in the uh, scent notes. It is lighter when it's a fresh pour, but it does get stronger. So if it's too light for you when you first get it, just let it sit, you know, maybe four to six months or longer. Um, I really like that scent and it will, once it's cured, does get strong enough to even escape a room and go down the hall. <laughs> Next currently available, but not in the catalog. It's on the website is Marvel Nine Realms. This has like lavender and blue tea scent notes with something that I don't remember at the moment. It is a very unique scent. I like it. It does get a little juicy really quick. Um, one of the comments said it smells like CK1. I don't think I've smelled that um, in a long time, so I can't say, but just wanted to put that out there. It is light to medium on strength. I do really like that one though. Appletini Splash is in the current catalog, but it will be retiring as of September 1st. This is a green apple with lots of sugar. It is a very sweet, very strong green apple scent. I like it. Um, hopefully it comes back next spring, summer. I will be putting it in my hack club and more to come on that. I have to do the comp combining my hack club with my normal club that will be shipping in August. So um, the hat club contains scents from the last fall winter catalog. Anywho, stay tuned, be sure to subscribe. That way when I post my club edit videos, you will get to see that in your subscription feed. Okay, moving on, sorry about that. Disney Magical Celebration, this is their 100 Disney's 100th anniversary celebration scent. It is a no for me, <laughs> surprisingly, since it's a Disney scent, but it has a really tart grapefruit note that I get to my nose. There is obviously an oil that Scentsy has been using in the last year or so that pops up every now and then that I get that from. And I just, it's not for me. I, I know some other people have mentioned getting that tart note in that scent. Um, so yeah, next, Harry Potter Wit and Ravenclaw Wit and Wisdom. Obviously hard of, part of the Harry Potter collection that's currently out. There is more Harry Potter collection to come in for the rest of the year, actually. I think there's a couple releases, um, you know, in the fall, like winter se season. This one is Ravenclaw and is kind of like a musky leather bound book. <laughs> um, a little unique as far as, you know, freight wax fragrance goes, but I like it. But you know, it's kind of getting to where I don't have to have it type of scent. So again, stay tuned for that club edit where I am going to have to make some serious decisions and combine hat club, all that. Okay. Pina Colada Cha Cha. This is in the current catalog. And obviously, it's a summer scent, so it's not going to continue in our spring in our fall winter catalog that starts September 1st. So, this is it's a nice pina colada, you know. I'm not huge on um coconut scents, although there are a few that I have found that I like, and this is one of them. Um, it's very nice, it's got a little bit of a warm rum note in the back, yeah. Very nice. I like it, and it's a strong scent, too. Okay, just a few more that are currently available, it looks like. 
Star Apple and Freesia. This was summer collection last year. Came back in the spring summer catalog. So happy. It will be going in my hat club to save it in case it does not come back next spring summer catalog. It's kind of a creep. Star Apple is not an apple. It's its own fruit. <laughs> it is kind of a creaminess to a fruit scent um, with a little bit of floral in there. I love this scent. It's just, it's unique. That star apple is something you don't smell a lot in home fragrance. I'm going to move this one down here because that one is not available, I believe. So we can continue with some that are available. Bonfire Beach, again, in the spring summer catalog, but not continuing to fall winter catalog starting September 1st. So grab it if you don't have it yet. It is kind of a toasted marshmallow and salty sea air with a little flint scent. I think this is a really light scent, but apparently that's my nose because most people say they get great performance out of this. It's nice. It's not something I would want. That flint note bothers my sinuses just a little bit if it were stronger, so that's probably a good thing that I don't get it very strong. Next, currently available in the catalog, Skinny Dippin'. Um, this has been around for quite a while in the spring-summer catalogs. Hope it stays. It's also in a brick in Cincy Club. Um, it, I get mostly cantaloupe from this with some green apple. Very nice scent, even if you don't like cantaloupe scents like myself. And my mom discovered this year that she likes this scent as well. So that will also be going in my hack club. Mango Matcha. This is a new one this spring summer catalog and I like it. It's a really sweet mango scent. I guess I do get a little bit of a tea note kind of with it, but mainly it's a sweet mango and a strong scent as well. All right, let's just start over here. Now we are in the not available scents. Actually, before we do that, let's talk about some other Scentsy stuff that is available. Um, we'll go back here to the Clean Breeze Travel Twist. These are kind of like those old stick-ups. Um, it's got a felt pad inside of a plastic um, twisty thing where you can adjust how open it is to release the scent. And this is in a closet and has been for a while. I actually refilled it with some, re I say refilled, I soaked that felt pad again with some other, well, I'll be honest, with Pink Zebra, um, what do they call it, fragrance mist, I guess. They say you can put it on clothes, on pets, in the air all kind of stuff. I put it in the felt pad, <laughs> filling this up, kind of, you know, reusing that felt pad, basically. Okay, pardon my reach here. Uh-oh, didn't mean to bump you. Black Raspberry Vanilla Travel Twist. Again, this is in kind of a little laundry, um, laundry cubby, I guess is what I'll call it. And again, it's been there for a while, and I refilled it with one of the pink zebra um, liquids, whatever it's called. Um, okay, I'm not sure. What's, we're still talking currently available, so Magnolia Linen in the Scentsy Pods. I love this scent. It is a great laundry scent with an extra magnolia, even if you don't like, um, Floral scents, give this a try in the wax, in the pods, whatever. It, um, I think it is retiring when the spring-summer catalog begins in September. Not spring-summer, fall-winter, you knew what I meant. Another great scent in wax and everything else is aloe water and cucumber. If you don't like cucumber scents, don't be turned off by that in the name. It is a wonderful, fresh scent. Um... For me, it's the perfect bathroom scent and cleaners. Um, I don't think we have it cleaner currently, but anywho, great, strong scent, you know, fresh scent for the house. Okay, currently not available. 
Let's talk about wax. Flower Garden, Fe the Epcot International Flower Garden Festival Mint Fields. Uh, very minty. <laughs> very, very spearmint. Almost like you're rubbing an actual spearmint leaf. Uh, you can even get a little bit of that greenness from it. Not for me personally. Um, but yeah, that's definitely some... If you like mint scents, that would be one to try if you see it again. Two of Vitamin Relax. And this is kind of an amber... A cozy amber type scent um, also currently in my club um, yeah I think this is my last two bars that I have right now we shall see if it stays in the club or not once I have to do all that combining um, another Disney scent see Tinkerbell sweet and sassy from Peter Pan Disney um, this is one of those. I got that really tart grapefruit note, and it's just not for me. Sand swept. Really nice, rocky, sandy, fresh kind of smell. In my club. Um, very light, though. Ambrosia. This was in my club for a few shipments, but it's not there now. This is kind of a fruit punch with a standout weight. <laughs> white white grapefruit not grapefruit my goodness a white grape note and very mm, so good kind of like an ambrosia salad uh yeah and a strong scent that was a bring back my bar that i put in my club for a little bit flower shop this was in january spring back my bar and actually it's more green stem than it is floral so I have a few more bars of this. I kind of enjoy this every now and then. Um, it's in my hack club in case I wanted more. So we shall see what happens with that. Pineapple Dragon Fruit. This was a summer collection scent this summer, I think. What, wasn't it? Anyway, I don't think it's currently available, though, anymore already. Um... Yeah, it had pineapple and dragon fruit. But again, I got a little bit of a tartness that I didn't like from it. Wow, I'm on the negative <laughs> sense now, aren't I? Okay, vitamin S Soothe in my club. Love it. Reminds me of Disney's Soarin' Ride. The one where you go over the ocean and they pump the room full of that kind of fresh, salty air. Love this scent. Um... I would not do it in a large area. It's more of a, you know, average size room scent. Sinspiration Mango Wildflower. Since he's doing this Sinspiration collection now each catalog season, or at least for the last two, um, and they are already doing one for the fall winter. So we will for sure have three catalogs that they have done a Sinspiration scent. They pick one popular scent from the catalog and then they make spin-offs of it this was from uh May go go mango and it's got a wildflower note in there i enjoyed this but it's not one not one that i like had to have more of but i really did enjoy that well we knew it wouldn't be long okay next is i have Two of Desert Rock and Citron. This was in the Father's Day collection. I think it's already gone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's already um, gone. I put this in my club because I really like this. It's a little bit of a masculine cologne, more so body wash actually scent. But that Desert Rock reminds me of the rock note that's in Sand Sweat that we talked about earlier. But this is stronger. Yeah. It almost kind of an Irish spring scent. So if you like those kind of scents, that would be a good one. I kind of hope that one comes back in our next catalog. Do y'all think it will? Have you tried it? Did you like it? <laughs> next was Bring Back My Bar Mediterranean Spa. I love this. It's like lemon groves and 
fresh breezy air or something. I don't know, but it's a spa scent. It's got lemon and kind of an herbal, little bit of an herbal note to it. Very nice. Oh, I need to speed up, don't I? <laughs> it's going to take us all day. Mandarin Zest. I think this was... Was... the. It was either Easter. Or I don't know. Okay. I didn't like it. It was okay. Mandarin with um just a light citrus. Almost like a sparkly note to it, but it was just okay for me. Cutie Pie Cupcake in my club. It is a yellow cake with Um, like a clementine note, I think is what it says. The perfect amount of both. It has more yellow than the clementine, but the clementine's definitely there. Strong scent. Also in my club, we're all mad here. This is like strawberry and plum and something else. Uh, reminds me of Bath and Body Works Vampire Blood. Average size. Uh, average size. <laughs> average strength and... A nice one that I like, obviously. It's in my club. Pear and cucumber. Nope. Pear blossom and cucumber. This was in January. Bring back my bark. Very nice, floral, girly, fresh type scent. Highly recommend if that ever comes back. Lavender violet. Also in the club. <laughs> the best lavender marshmallow scent I have ever smelled. It's an average performer. Would not put that in a large room, but does well in a, you know, average size room. Beach. This is, was also in the uh, Bring Back My Bar. Very heavy on papaya. Yeah. Uh, not for me, but obviously lots of people love that one. Glacier Mist. Uh, this was a scent of the month. Ooh. Last summer, I guess. Not really for me either. I get more of a green kind of earthy note from this than I do of like aquatic, which is what the name makes you think. What's on the front here? Uh, citrus. I can't even figure out what that other is. It's is supposed to be clouds and air. Anywho, okay. Not for me. Mojito Mambo. This was in a flash sale. This was in a brick um, in 2018 or 19 time frame, I think. Anyway, very nice. Kind of mojito scent. Um, not boozy at all, but minty more so than anything. Pink Sunshine. This was Easter or something earlier this year. And nice. I think one of the notes is rose milk, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, this was nice. A little bit of fruity, but that rose milk kind of gave it that creamy um, note similar to the star apple and freesia creaminess. Wildflower cotton. This was in the Mother's Day collection this year at first sniff. I loved it. And then I didn't <laughs> when I warmed it. It's very woody. Um, at first that woodsy note when I sniffed it did not come out until I kept sniffing it. You know how you do when a new scent's there. Anyway, I like it. I just wish that woods note was a little lower. It was, it's similar to like a blue jean denim type scent if you've ever smelled anything with that type of name. A is for apple. I think this is another flash sale purchase here. And if I'm not mistaken, it has a, a red apple and a green apple note in it. A great combo. I'm going to try mixing Apple Teeny Splash with, which is a green apple, with Johnny Appleseed, which is red apple, or Apple Press, which is red apple as well. Yeah, I enjoy that scent. I think that was initially in the kids, kids line that they used to have at a few catalogs, I think. Next is Apple Press that I just mentioned. This is in my club, my favorite <clears throat> red apple scent. It has a little bit of freshness added to it. It could be a fall scent, but it doesn't scream fall scent. 
It's got a hint of rose, which you wouldn't know was there. Anywho, my favorite apple scent. Strong performer. Love it. In my club. White Sands. Also, a bring back my bar. Um, this has like coconut milk, I think. No. Or maybe it has coconut milk and rice, or rice milk. I don't know. Something like that. It's got a good creaminess to it. It's very unique and pretty. Just not up my alley, so not a repurchase or club or anything like that. Next is Ocean Air and Coconut Water. This was in the summer collection this year, and I enjoyed it enough, but I forget there was a little bit of an odd note. Oh, a little perfumey, a little powderiness almost that I did not care for in that one, but many people loved that scent. It wouldn't surprise me if that came back in the next spring summer catalog. This one is from the Mix It Wax Collection Grapefruit Orange. It had a little bit of too much tartness from that grapefruit for me. But a good amount of the orange to kind of calm it down, but not a repurchase. Bring back my bar, Southern Sweet Tea. This is basically peach tea. That sums it up. <laughs> it's a great scent. It also has orange juice in the scent notes, and I definitely get that. It sweetens it up. I think that's what makes it the sweet part here. And the Southern, I'm guessing they're calling that because it's peach. But honestly, Southern sweet tea is just sweet tea. I live in the South. So, anyway. Fuzzy Blanket, another back, bring back my bar. Um, very reminiscent of Jammy Time in the catalog. Lavender, but it's like this amped up artificial lavender that I don't like. Um, yeah. <laughs> Average performer. Um, let's talk about these on the left. Peach Nectar. This was retired. I think this was in last spring summer catalog and did not come back, but I had it in the hat club, so I was able to get a few more uh, bars of it. I really like this for a peach scent. It's uh, got a little musk to it. Very nice. Um, not one I have to have all the time, though, but I, I did enjoy it again. Feeling punchy in my club. <laughs> this is, this was kind of a love it or hate it scent when it was out um, last summer, I believe, in that collection. It is a fruit punch with a standout orange. And I mean a bright juicy orange um i love it i know some of us do a lot of people feel like didn't like that but anywho it's in my club violet spun sugar um was this in the easter collect what else came out right at the easter collection that i keep mixing up with it oh the valentine's day so this may have been the valentine i don't know anywho it was out earlier this year not one for me Kind of a like a toasted sugar almost type scent. It wasn't, you know, not up my alley. Okay, I have two bars of this scent. Ice Hotel. This has not been back. This is in my club. Hasn't been back for a few years, I think. Maybe 2020. Anyway, I love this scent when it is super hot outside it almost makes my the room that i'm melting it in feel a little cooler just from the scent of it i think it's it says it's blue mint or blue ice something like that it's not peppermint but i love this scent um yeah highly recommend if you ever see it give it a shot tangerine and sugar cane again this was either Wait, this was in the Valentine, not Valentine, summer collection. Um, was hoping for something kind of like Oodles of Orange. And it's eh, kind of close, I guess. It's a citrus scent with some added sweetness. I like this better on cold sniff than I do warm. Um, average performer. And as you can see here, I also have the pods in that scent, which did well. Lasted a good while not really any scent left now um let's talk about another one in my club yeah can you tell i'm 
melting a lot from my club. Okay, Atlantic Air. This was also in last spring summer catalog that did not come back. And some of us were not very happy about that. But luckily, it was in my hack club. So once we found out it wasn't coming back, it got moved to the club that ships to me. And I think in multiple, I think I get two every, bi monthly. Anywho, yeah, fresh air. I think the note is like orchid. But man, it's just a great fresh air scent. It does not scream floral at all. And it's strong. Another club scent, and probably not surprising, I have three turning red. This is um, obviously from the Disney Turning Red movie. Love the movie. If you haven't seen it, you gotta see it. And it's like pomegranate, cherry, sugar, and orange, I think. Or tangerine, something like that, and it's the best mix of all that. the The top, the one that stands out most to me is the pomegranate, and then the cherry just kind of deepens that with the orange, mm, tangerine, whatever. Okay, we're I'm running low on these. They really need to bring the scent back. Maybe the whole collection would be awesome. Friend like me from Disney's Aladdin. This is kind of an aquatic an aquatic like fresh watery scent um yeah they need to bring it back i've been purchasing bars from you know um probably macari yeah i think it's macari that i'm getting them from anywho okay that wraps up scentsy now mo nope one more scentsy raspberry lollipop love this scent wish this would come back too Mm -hmm. um, it smells like a raspberry lollipop. I have a few more bars of it, I think, that I'm hoarding. <laughs> and I have quite a few of the pod packs. So, yeah, super sweet raspberry. I mean, it's like a lollipop, literally. Okay, moving on. Let's talk about these one-offs. I just talked about this in the weekly meltdown uh, this past week. It, yeah, if you want more in-depth scent notes and thoughts and all of that on these scents... Be sure to subscribe so you can, um, so my weekly meltdowns will show in your subscription feed. This one is Sensational Coconut Vacay. I love this scent. I wish Scentsy's Cocoa Lime was like this. I get mainly wax scent, just crayon wax from Scentsy's Cocoa Lime. It's just the coconut, I think, that they use. This one, though, heavy lime, a little saltiness, and coconut. I purchased, I, I thought they had actually discontinued this. Um, it may not have returned last year, so when I saw it this year, I grabbed up two of them. I didn't want to, you know, go overboard, but catching rays from Yankee Candle and love this. It's kind of like a chlorine type scent, clean, almost chlorine, yeah. Okay, I think we can move in now, right? Let's adjust. And let's... Okay. Now. Some Kringle. This, I don't know why they called it sweet stuff. It is a bad representation of what this smells like. Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, says it smells exactly like the Boom Boom Cream from Sol de Janeiro. Um, yeah, it's nice. I have another one or two clamshells. Blackberry Buttercream. Oh, this was a no for me. Oh, my gosh. It had this weird cake note that was like toasted brown edges cake note with a little bit of blackberry. Again, a misrepresentation of what the scent should be, I feel like. Sea Breeze, this is a nice, you know, fresh air. I get a little bit of, is it coconut cream maybe or something like that? A little weird creamy type scent. Three of Kringle's Lemon Lavender. And 
I love this scent. It's a great blend of lemon lavender. I've tried to do, to recreate it with Scentsy's French Lavender and Lemon Sorbet, and it wasn't quite right like this. Anyway, if you're buying Kringle, make sure you pick up a Lemon Lavender and give it a shot. Okay, let's start in the middle here. I had this from I don't even know when. <laughs> Grapefruit Sage is there. So 2001 it looks like. It was nice. I had this in a candle crock. It's just that grapefruit tart note that I keep talking about. <laughs> it seems to be the theme here. <clears throat> it had a lot of that too, that tartness. I didn't get a whole lot of sage. And as you can see, the wax is still in there, but it has no scent. <clears throat> it was in my um, candle crock, which melts the entire candle, so you don't light a candle after the candle crock. But you get, in my opinion, more scent, longer scent, uh, stronger scent, all of that when you use a candle crock. Um, here is pineapple mango and fresh balsam. Love this combo. I know some people are like, no hard no <laughs> i like it it's fresh it's a little fruity from the mango a little you know tart from the pine it's a, a little bit of a lot of things in one candle again it was in the candle crock so the scent is no longer here in the wax and those wicks are way close too close to the glass to actually you know burn it now Next, Lakeside Morning, and you can see there's another one right here. I love this scent. It is definitely a constant repurchase scent for me. And it's fresh. It's a little aquatic. It's a little fruity. Um, as you can see, crisp air, driftwood, and green apple. Mm, such a good scent. And this one literally lasts like three weeks in a candle crock. Um, the longest lasting candle that I've come across in a candle crock. So that's another reason I love it. So two of those. Sorry. And then Laundry Day Eucalyptus Lavender Fresh Air. I was hoping to like this a little more because I love eucalyptus, lavender, and fresh like laundry scents usually. I don't know. There's something else here. This crisp word to me, it's got a little almost winter type scent to it. Um, again, in the candle crock, wicks are a no-go and wax is unscented now. Next is Eucalyptus Rain, another constant repurchase at Bath and Body Works. I love this scent. It is eucalyptus, spearmint, and fresh spring rain. Just a beautiful fresh scent. It's only a one week scent throw in the candle crock, but that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So yeah, lots of fragrance pumping out of these candles in a candle crock. Next, another favorite I have found, and I hope they bring back. I have more of these, of course, because when I discovered I loved it, I bought more. <laughs> Fresh coconut and cotton. And this is coconut, coastal breeze, beachside cotton. It's a great combo of the two. I would say about half and half. You get about half of a creamy coconut uh, kind of that tropical creaminess with that fresh cotton. And then here we have from Homeworks, Snow Angels. This, so this is cranberry, raspberry cream, and crystallized vanilla with sandalwood. So it's a very creamy um, raspberry with a little brightness from cranberry, but honestly, I will not buy this candle again, and probably not many Homeworks candles ever again. I hate to get on the negative here, but this was actually from last fall, and it still barely had any scent to it. Even 
chopping it up and putting it in a candle crock obviously in an empty candle container you don't just throw wax in the crocks anyway um yeah practically unscented waste of money not to mention how expensive these candles are okay that's all i'll say i do like the berry trifle candle that hallmarks has it has been decently scented um but yeah i mean you're paying even on sale 16 18 20 dollars for these hallmarks candles yes they have been at home goods and stores like that but you know the ones i've come across are usually fall scents and they usually have very little scent to them so i haven't purchased any that i came across okay moving on my bad okay just to give you a background here <laughs> all right next we have some hayden row I got Squeaky Clean, which is kind of a soapy bubble type scent. It was okay. Lasted maybe two days at most. Hayden, which was a nice, really nice scent. Unfortunately, it barely had any scent throw when it was in a warmer. In a, in a Scentsy warmer, it's a 25-watt ceramic that it was in. So, yeah, it should have performed if it was going to. And then Driftwood, another really, really nice scent. Unfortunately, not more than a day. It was only about a half a day of scent from the wax. So, not a repurchase. I had a small haul that I received, that I got from, bought from Hayden Row, And honestly, just probably not going to be a repurchase for me. Shipping is... In any shipping, not specific to Hayden Row here, but shipping is too expensive, you know, and I'm trying small hauls first from a vendor, and if I'm not liking that wax and length and strength and da-da-da, then I'm not buying from them again. So, now, Destination Wax. Let's talk about the little one first. Winter Linen, this is Eucalyptus, Jasmine, Flower, Sandalwood, Musk Cashmere. It's nice, a little bit of a linen scent with a little bit of winteriness to it. Kind of like Laundry Day, actually. Now, it had a little more... <laughs> I was just sniffing this right here. It had a little more winteriness to it from... What would that have come from? I don't know. Anywho. Okay, moving on. Whoop. Beach Bonfire, a little salty sea air. This was very, very similar to Cincy's Bonfire Beach that we actually talked about a little while ago. So I had, you know, once I melted some of the, the Destination Wax Beach Bonfire, which, by the way, I was putting two cubes in warmers, Cincy warmers, of Destination Wax, and honestly, Synthro does better destination wax if you only do one cube but I have a feeling it's just it's because you know it's too much wax at once when you do two cubes anyway but for the most part destination wax strength is decent um, if I only do one cube not two cubes then it goes down instead of up so okay yeah, Beach Bonfire, basically Cincy's um, Bonfire Beach. So if, you know, they discontinue it, don't bring it back, whatever, you can always try Destination Wax Beach Bonfire. Cape Cod Coast. Um, this was nice. I want to say, yeah, the myrtle leaves in here gave it a little greenness, it had a little woodiness, it had salted sea air. You know, it was a great kind of um, fresh scent, I guess. Yeah, probably not a repurchase for me, mainly because of that myrtle leaf in there wasn't, you know, a love. <laughs> and then we've got some fresh Tide. Well, smells like Tide, basically. So I don't think I really need to describe that anymore, right? Yeah, yeah decent. All right. So... <laughs> All right, that wraps it up. We're not <laughs> going to try that again. Um, so, coming in the next 
week. I'm going to have to do, I'm trying, I have been procrastinating so much on doing this, but I'm eventually going to have to uh, do my club edit because it ships on the 12th, or it processes on the 12th of August. I'm going to have to combine that hat club with my bi-monthly, make some cuts now that we know what's coming back in the fall winter catalog. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video or if you enjoy any video that you watch of mine or anyone else's, tap that thumbs up. Tell us that you like it. Okay. And then, of course, if you want to see more content, subscribe to my channel. That way it, my videos will show in your subscription feed um, once they get uploaded. So thank you for stopping by. Hope everyone has a great weekend, a great August, and I will see you sometime this week. Thanks. Bye-bye.